a court ruling recently mandated that the world's most popular dating website for Christians, Christian Mingle, must let LGBT singles use the site after a lawsuit. I'll leave a link to the story in its entirety in the description box if you want to read it for yourself. But basically, what it says is, in 2013, two godly gay men noticed that new members could not search for dates of the same sex. So they filed a lawsuit for discrimination and won. Now the website has to make some adjustments for LGBTs. Godly gay men? Really? I'm sorry, but in my opinion, the words godly and gay don't belong in the same sentence. If they were really godly, they would repent of their homosexuality. They're just saying that to make those gay men look like the victims here. The Bible doesn't endorse homosexuality. It condemns it. In speaking about homosexuals and lesbians, Romans chapter 1 verses 26 through 27 states, For this reason, God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another. Men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. Just notice some of the terms that the Bible uses to describe homosexuality, vile passions, against nature, which means unnatural or perverted, and shameful. These people ought to be ashamed of what they're doing, but instead, the government emboldens them by making court rulings which give them more rights. And in cases like this, trampling on the rights of Christians. This is satanic. This is exactly what the devil wants. Instead of causing sinners to feel ashamed in the hopes that they will repent from their sinful lifestyle, he wants them to be emboldened in it and continue in it so that they will be lost. Consequently, he wants Christians to be ashamed of their faith in the hopes that they abandon it. Moreover, I think the real victims in this case are the Christians who use websites like Christian Mingle to get away from, among other things, harassment by homosexuals on secular dating sites. Before I got married, I actually used various dating sites, Christian and secular, and something I didn't like about secular dating sites was the periodic harassment by homosexuals trying to hook up with me even though they knew I was not gay. And sometimes they would even send me pictures of their genitals, which I did not request and did not want to see. The same thing is going to happen to Christian Mingle now. And I bet you that website is going to suffer. I bet you many Christians are going to stop using it. You know something this case reminds me of as well? It reminds me of the story of Lot and Sodom in Genesis chapter 19. The reason being is there was an attack on Lot and his house by the homosexuals in the city. And they were very aggressive. Homosexuals are now attacking Christians by filing lawsuits against them when Christians refuse to accommodate them. In Lot's time, it was violent. Right now, the attack against Christians are not violent, but there's no telling if they will get violent. I almost got attacked by homosexuals once myself. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Either way, just like in Lot's time, there is an attack on the believers of God by homosexuals. And Jesus compared the days of Lot to the time of his second coming. He said in Luke chapter 17 verses 28 through 30, Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. We are living in the end time. Like in the end of the end time. And if your life is not right with God, you will not be ready for Jesus' second coming. And do you want to be ready? Click on the link to the free online Bible study guides in the description box. Now for that story about homosexuals who almost attacked me. I was in prison at the time and attracted the hate of some of the homosexuals in there because I wrote an article which explained what the Bible has to say about homosexuality. One of my Christian friends, who was a former Marine and in very good shape, he worked out every day and was quite strong and had military combat training, he told me he overheard a couple of homosexuals in the hallway planning to jump me. Immediately, he stepped in between them and told them, don't even try it. Greg is one of us, and if anything happens to him, you're going to get it 10 times worse. Now, I'm not going to say I necessarily condone that behavior, because Christians shouldn't react to violence with violence. Was what he did wrong? 
I don't know. He was my friend and he was trying to protect me and I appreciate that. Just thought I would throw that out there to give you a little insight into prison life. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Also, if you want email alerts directly to your email inbox of my future uploads, when you subscribe, make sure you click the gear icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page and click on the send me all notifications for this channel checkbox and click save. That way, you'll never miss another upload of mine. Feel free to check out my live stream on friendlife.com as well. You can join me on PC or download the Friend Life app to your smartphone. And you can find a link to my live stream in the description box. I stream several times a week, especially on the weekends. And I post notifications when I stream to Twitter. So make sure and follow me there. God bless.